Thank you for coming to our help page. We're going to walk you through a couple examples. First, we will show you how to use the page. We will show you how to make a payment. And then we will also show you uh, what it looks like if your credit card isn't working. OK, so let's go ahead and start by explaining what we see in front of us. So after you've uh, navigated to your page uh, from the email you received from your company, you will see that on our right side here, we have our company information our company logo. And over here on the left, we're going to see our current balance that is due. We'll have our help button. That's how you got to this video. And then you also see pay the full balance. We're going to get to that in a second. Below, we have these four blue lines. Depending on how long your uh, history is with this company, you will have different numbers, but each blue bar represents an invoice. So if we click on one, you can see that that invoice information will expand and it'll give us some more details. And let's say that we want to dig in, like what is this uh, amount here for $435 due? Let's go ahead and click view invoice. That's going to open up our invoice and it's going to go ahead and give us a breakdown where we can print it out for our records or <clears throat> we can simply just see what we've got charged for. And we can see on our invoice, we have a subtotal. That is what is due from our actual invoice here. If there was any tax, that would be applied to it. And then credits and balances. This is where if you overpaid on a previous bill, it would be subtracted from this invoice. Or if you owe, like this customer does on this example, he, he owes $100 from a previous invoice, that gets added to his total, okay? So it's kind of a running tally on your total due. So you click go back, that'll get us back to our page. All right, and we can see that that previous unpaid invoice is down here for a hundred dollars. Okay, and then also on these paid invoices, you can come back to them at any time and click View Invoice, and you will show a paid watermarked invoice. So, you, like I said, you can print those out for your record by clicking this green button, Print, or you could come back at any time and reference those. So, <clears throat> what we're going to do is we want to make a payment, okay? Uh, if you want, you can simply click on this blue bar and you can click on this blue button here. This one shows unavailable. That's just because this is a test account. But uh, you can go ahead and click this blue button and you can fill out your credit card information. The easier way is simply just gonna always be at the top here and click pay the full balance. So no, if you have two invoices due, if you paid for uh, half an invoice last month, but you need to get the other half paid for and your current invoice, it takes this amount here and charges it and gets it all wiped out, okay? Or you can you know, set up other payment arrangements with your company, but this is uh, just a walkthrough of how this works. So we'll click pay the full balance. It's gonna ask you, are you sure you wanna pay the full balance? So this guy has a balance due of $535. And we're gonna go ahead and say pay with card. All right, and we're gonna put in our fake user's name, Jeff Frink, and we will just give him a fake address. And let's go ahead and make up a zip code. And here we go, it automatically looked that up. Now all of this information is gonna be the billing information for your credit card. So you want to make sure that matches because they do use this to make sure it's not a fraudulent charge. Okay. So we're going to hit payment info. That takes us to our credit card information. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to show you what it looks like real quick <clears throat> if your credit card gets declined. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and put in a fake credit card number here. That is just for testing purposes only. And it will come back with the declined card but I want you to see what that looks like in case you're having trouble with your credit card. And I'm just putting in fake test data here. So I'm gonna click pay. So you're gonna see that the screen shakes, it highlights the credit card number in red, and to the right it says this card was declined. You see that right here? So <clears throat> that's gonna tell you right off the bat that your card isn't working or that you don't have enough money in your account to cover the balance. So you'll want to make sure to check with the bank 
and use a, a correct card. So now we're going to go through and I'm going to show you what it looks like with the successful charge. Okay. Once again, these are just fake testing numbers. <clears throat> oh, and before we go ahead and run this through, this remember me button, you'll want to check that. What it's going to do is we'll click remember me and it's going to ask for your uh, mobile phone number. Okay. The next time that you make your payment, so next month when you get your next invoice, you can go ahead and after you select this remember me button, it'll send you a text message with a four digit pin code to put in the next time you go to make a payment and then you don't have to put all your credit card information in again. Now all this credit card information is stored with the credit card processor. It never touches our servers. The uh, company that uh, you're making your payment to, they do not ever have your credit card uh, number. That is solely with the credit card provider. It is much safer with them, okay? So uh, I do recommend doing that. Uh, we're not gonna do that for this testing purpose. And let's go ahead and click our pay button. All right. So here we go. We have a notification that the payment was successful. And then the page is gonna go ahead and go back. And now we can see that our balance is zero and all of our invoices show paid, okay? And so from this point on, the company that you made your payment to will receive notification that you made your payment. It'll be logged in the system and that's it. So next time you need to make your payment, all you'll need to do is click the button to make your payment. And as long as you click remember me, you'll just have to put in that uh, pin code that will be texted to your phone and you're all done. You'll be uh, in and out in about a minute. Okay. I hope you had a great day. Bye-bye.